Hi everybody, it's Pam. Today, this old hillbilly is gonna put together a charcuterie board. Now, full disclosure, until about a year ago, I had no earthly idea what a charcuterie board was. My sister made one up at Christmas time, beautifully done. Um, I'm getting ready to go to the world champion Kansas City Chiefs Super Bowl game, which I know they're going to kick those bucks butts. But I wanted to kind of show you, I'm going to put together a charcuterie board. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to show you some of the items I'm going to use on the charcuterie board. And hey, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Come back and see me. Come back and watch. This will be posted after the game. I haven't gotten my Kansas City Chiefs shirt on yet, but I will have it on. I'm a five-generation Missourian, and my heart is with the Kansas City Chiefs. So anyway, I'm going to show you these items, and we'll go from there, and we'll uh, look and see what all I've go I'm going to put on my charcuterie board. Okay, so I was telling my husband, he's out of town right now, but I was telling him, that I was going to put together this charcuterie board. And I said, oh, I'll put some, you know, different things on there. He said, oh, you have to have salami, prosciutto, and hard Genoa salami and things like that. He's an Italian from New York, so he, he kind of steered me in that direction. He said, a good charcuterie board has lots of of meats on it, as well as lots of cheeses on it. So I have a goat cheese, a um, Swiss cheese, brie, camembert, and gouda. I also have crackers, several different kinds of crackers that I'll put on there, on the board. Mine's not gonna be a board, mine's gonna be a platter, but I, uh, I think it'll still be counted as a charcuterie board. I've got garlic olives, Greek Kalamata olives. I've got artichoke hearts, dill pickles. I got some uh, mixture at the grocery store of mozzarella and uh, different, uh, that's got some garlic pieces in there, Kalamatas and all. I'm gonna put out some pecans. Gonna have some carrots, broccoli, tomatoes, radishes, jicama, I love jicama. Jicama's really, really a good fibrous, food to take and, and have and keep around just to snack on. Also carrots. So this is what my charcuterie board is going to consist of. And we'll come back here in a few minutes and show you how I'm going to design it. Let you look at this one more time. Okay. Hello, we're back. Okay, we're gonna to put together our charcuterie board now. Uh, I wanna show you what the platter I'm going to use and I wanna tell you a little something about it. I'm a bargain hunter. Like I said in past posts, I like a good bargain. I went to an estate sale about five months ago here in, in Vegas and the great thing about it, uh, estate sales, little hint, if you go on Saturdays, you get things a lot of times half price. Half price on Saturdays if, that, if the estate sale has started on us on a Friday. So anyway, I bought for $20, one of the most amazing, and I hope you can see it, beautiful platters, metal, uh, stainless steel. I put this, I washed it off really good, um, and put it in the freezer. It's cold as cold can be now. So it'll keep everything that I put on there very cold. So. This is my platter that we're going to start with, and I'm going to hold this right here where you can watch as I put these items on. In honor of our world-famous Kansas City Chiefs and the champions, I'm doing everything in pretty much red and yellow. <laughs> yellow and red. That's why I have my yellow earrings and my red top on today. My Goodwill bargain top. Anyway, so we're going to start off by doing a couple of little things here. We're going to put my two cheeses right there. You might have to do them like this. You may have to kvetch a little bit with them. You know, you you almost, this is a work as you go thing. These are not going to fare well, these little containers on my charcuterie board. So I am going to dump out my, my, um, 
cheese onto this because I'm going to put this back in the refrigerator until I'm ready to go. I'm not going to put the crackers on here, but I'm going to put all my meats, cheeses, and veggies on here and uh, get it ready to go. So you can see I put the two different kinds of cheeses on there. There's my two different kinds of cheeses. Now we're going to put prosciutto and uh, the salamis and prosciutto, um, capicolo. Uh, I went to Trader Joe's. Now, if you are fortunate to live close to a Trader Joe's, these kind of items are really easy to get. Um, and they're pretty cheap, too. I love Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's is one of my favorite stores. Um, I tell you, in rural areas, a lot of rural areas, I know I'm from a little town back in Missouri, we have a subsidiary of Trader Joe's by the name of Aldi's, owned by the same company. Aldi's owns, it's a German company, they own Trader Joe's, and they carry a lot of the same kind of products. Very cheap, too. Um, I, uh, I love Aldi's. I love going back home to go to Aldi's because they have fabulous foods, great foods, and not expensive like going into a, a store store. So I'm putting these meats on here. Like I said, this is really cold still. I just pulled it out of the refrigerator, no, freezer. And so these are all gonna go on here in a little, where people can pick them up with their fingers. Oh yeah, that's gonna be good. Uh, I've mentioned a couple of times that I owned a restaurant. I used to buy a lot of my products for the restaurant at, Trader, uh, at Aldi's back home. And uh, found some great produce. They have fantastic produce. They have um, good cheeses. Oh, their cheeses are fabulous. I use that word a lot, fabulous. But they are, they're fabulous. Okay, well, let's do this. This is gonna be the hardest meat that we have to put on there. But it's gonna be some good eating. <laughs> I mentioned earlier that I hadn't heard of a charcuterie board. Well, you know, I'm not in the loop like I used to be when I owned a restaurant. I uh, I just cook for myself and my husband and my group of friends who come for playing cards. We have a group of ladies who play cards every week. We're in a little bubble, COVID bubble up here. And this is the same group with their husbands who were who I'm going to go to the Super Bowl party at today. So they're all going to get to eat all of this. Okay, you get to get to be a little artistic now. You get to do little artistic things. So let's put some jicama here. Little jicama over here. I've washed all of these off really well. Um, put them in a a little uh, strainer. Wash them off very nicely so that they're all clean and ready to eat. So, there's the hikma. Radishes. Radishes red. Red radishes. Where those Kansas City Chiefs. I'm anxious. If you're from the Tampa Bay area or if you're pulling for Brady and, and all, I understand. I completely understand. But uh, my heart is with the, the Kansas City Chiefs and always will be. My uncle, who is now deceased, God rest his soul, he actually went to the very first Super Bowl game played. They played at the Rose Bowl in California. The Green Bay Packers and the Kansas City Chiefs. And he flew out of Kansas City. He owned a bar in Kansas City and he flew out of Kansas City on TWA, the old airline TWA. And uh, what was so funny is, they gave the people on the, on the flight that day, they gave them uh, seat cushions that said, first Super Bowl uh, TWA, you know, the airline on it, so that they could use them at the Super Bowl game. He went out with a group of other people, I guess, from Kansas City. He kept 
the seat cushion. He kept his program and he kept his ticket stub. He died a few years back and he left my, uh, my sister. I've often mentioned my sister because my sis is one of my favorite people in the whole wide world. I might not be hers all the time, but she's one of mine. And she's had them appraised and evidently there is no value you can put on something like that. People just, you know, are amazed when we tell them that she actually does have the, the Super Bowl ticket stub and program from the first game. Her office back home is amazing. Anybody that's ever been in her office can, uh, can testify to that. Okay, so I've used up all of my veggies here. All of my veggies are around the, the uh, edge here. Now we're going to go back and start with the meat over here on this side. So we're going to put this just like this. You know, I don't think there's any rhyme or reason to charcuterie boards. You just do it or you don't do it. Uh, and I'm just doing it. Just going to do it. I would suggest, however, in, in cases like this, pull your salamis apart because you don't want... I'm going to have to move those hikamas. I want all my meats over here on this side. Um, you don't want people having to stand there and pull them apart themselves. So pull your salamis apart, you know, get them. Actually, you know what we need to do? Even better, we need to roll them up. See, as I said, we're going, we're, we're just doing this as we go. But uh, I don't want, I don't want anybody to be fearful of doing this kind of thing. This is fun. Life is fun. Life is really fun. So just roll them up. That way you can just come up, pick them up. Not going to be a big deal. I'm going to put some little toothpicks with these, with this, when I get it all done so that people will be able to use toothpicks in the day of COVID, in the life with COVID. Oh, it's amazing. Hope all of you are doing well trying to get through this COVID catastrophe. I tell you, it's not fun. It's not fun, but life is making yourself have fun during the worst of times. I keep saying God is good, and He is. God is very, very, very good. Okay, we're almost there with our rolled up. This is all I'm gonna to use today for that. Now we're gonna do the same thing with our hard salami. Just roll it up. Nope, that goes over here. Roll them up. Stack them around. No rhyme or reason. This platter is staying really good and cold. You can still see how cold it is. So that's great for these salamis. The hard salami. I wish my husband were here. He'd love this. He is uh, in Brownsville, Texas in a motel room and has been for the last couple of weeks and I'm ready for him to be home. Uh, He gets to come home tomorrow, so that makes me happy. Happy, happy, happy. Okay, so we have all of our salami in there, all different kinds of salami and prosciutto, capicola. My sister's probably watching this going, she's not doing that right. My sister is at my cousin's bar, sports bar in Kansas City, Missouri. The whole family has gone up there to watch the Kansas City Chiefs. Uh, they're gonna root for them. My cousin texted me two days ago and she said, it's, you still have time to come back home, get in a car and come back home and 
help celebrate with us. I hope everybody's going to stay safe back there. COVID safe, but they're going to have fun. The whole bunch went last year. That's the sad part about living away from them. Living away from that area. I don't get to enjoy that kind of stuff with them anymore, but I love my life out here, so I'm not going to complain about that. Okay, so we've got all of our meats, most of our cheese, all of our veggies. Let's put our other cheeses on here. I did learn something interesting today. I often wondered about this because I'm not a big fan of uh, brie. I don't care for it that much. But I wondered, do you leave the skin, the rind on, on brie or do you take it off? So I Googled it. Everybody Googles things anymore. Guess what? You do leave them. It's very important to have it on there. There's microbes and all kinds of yicky stuff that taking it off doesn't help with. Okay, now we're getting ready. Ooh, let's do this first. Let's put our mixture down. Whoop. Okay, that's our mixture that we purchased from the store. mozzarella in there. We've got mozzarella and now we're going to do some artichoke hearts. They are marinated so you want to take some of the juices off of them. But marinated artichoke hearts are the best. Put those right there. Again, no rhyme or reason. I don't, I'm just fitting it in here as I as I see fit. <laughs> okay. So that should be enough for that. There's going to be approximately 10 to 11 people there today. We're keeping it under the COVID rules, the guidelines for Nevada. Uh, we're lucky enough out here to be able to go outside a lot. We're all again in a little bubble up here. We it makes me it makes me laugh. Last night I was watching Saturday Night Live and they were talking on there. They were kind of making fun of the fact that so many people think that just because they're in a bubble that they're safe. I hope there comes a time when we all feel that way. Okay, hold on. We're gonna have to move one thing around be able to fit these Kalamatas in. Okay, we're almost done, folks. Can't beat that. Whoa. I should have my apron on. I always wear an apron when I cook. My family knows that my aprons are kind of like going to hand them down to my my babies when I get when I go to the great beyond. Okay. Okay, folks. Guess what? First of all, I also made in honor of the Kansas City Chiefs pulled pork barbecue. I'm going to make pulled pork barbecue sliders. Got to put that back in there to heat it up before I start making those, but I'll, I'll show you my pulled pork recipe someday. Barbecue pulled pork in honor of the Kansas City Chiefs. Okay, folks. I think we're, we're done with this for the most part. I could tweak it a little bit, but I'm not going to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this off and turn it around, show you all just what I've done. This is a Hillbilly's Charcuterie Board. Oh, goodness. Forgot one thing. Going to have to make another little area for my goat cheese. 
I also have goat cheese, so we're gonna do that right there. This is gonna be some good eating. Some good eating. Okay, I think we're all done. I'll put all of this away. But let me show you. I'll turn this off and show you. I'll turn it around. Did you hear her? She's the lone soul here that is Brady.